Hello everyone and welcome to my card tutorial. This is the second tutorial for Christmas kit by Fighting Arts and the kit is still in promotional price and uh, this is the super special price for um, all set of papers and adornments and some mediums as well. Uh, so you can check it out on my um, online store fightingarts.pl and uh, we have been creating frames with uh, this kit and today I'm showing you how to create cards. Um, uh, depending on how you um, like your cards, more clean or more mixed media, you can choose, um, you know, the step you want to, you know, finish your card. You can just stop and make it um, very clean and simple and or you can just go with the flow and create a little bit more layers and add some more mediums as um, I'm making here, especially with the second card. First card is not so much into mediums, but we will be using some white gesso. So after uh, cutting two layers of papers and um, and uh, sticking it with craft glue. As you can see, the papers I'm cutting a little bit smaller. Each uh, layer is a little bit smaller. For, for me, it's a little bit five, um, I think five millimeters, uh, the edge of five millimeters smaller. And then I am applying white gesso with a brush and just to make it a little bit lighter and make it look like a little bit snowy background. You can use 13 knots gesso. All the mediums uh, I'm using here are included in the complementary kit, which is also available in a great price at Martin Art Store. Uh, so when you apply some gesso, just dry it with your heat gun and then we are ready to go. When you're using gesso on your paper, it is uh, really safe for you to use mediums. But for this card, I will not be using as many mediums. I'm just using some papers and I will be using some acrylic inks uh, later. So we are now ready to start uh, assembling our composition. And if you fussy cut uh, the elements from the papers, you will receive plenty of uh, different uh, graphics and nice uh, elements to put on your cards or other projects. And also all the scraps and pieces of paper you can use for your uh, composition. So I'm uh, sticking everything together. I'm using 3D foam to make it more dimensional because this card will be put in a matching box. So I can actually go a little bit more dimensional and I can build up my composition, um, you know, however I like. If you want to put it into the envelope, just don't add 3D forms, just don't add very dimensional elements. You can stick uh, with paper flowers as I'm using here and just leave it uh, as it is. Do not add more elements, just make it a little bit more simple and flat. Uh, so all the elements I'm using here, um, I cut out from the paper uh, sheets uh, which are included in the kit. And uh, you've got some flowers and leaves and branches and they are perfect to add for our card. And um, you can add more or less depending how your style is. And um, this card is not mm, very rich, but I would say it's not very simple as well. Um, but as I said, you can stop at any point. So I'm adding more and more elements and I'm just um, thinking what else I can uh, add up. And uh, um, I've got some uh, elements uh, in my um, set. So I will be using some pine cones and uh, some red berries and some stars, uh, whatever you can find in your kit or in your in your Christmas box with all the uh, small elements you can actually use for the for the uh, card. And the uh, main elements will be also a white thread, which will add uh, some dimension uh, to my composition, and it will be a little bit more fluffy and 
and uh, dimension dimensional. So I'm using some some uh, some stars and uh, pine cones and red berries to uh, create a central um, composition. And you can stick it with a hot glue gun or you can use gel medium. Um, gel medium is also included in the complementary kit. For the fast result, I'm just using um, just a, a hot glue gun. Um, for the special effect, you can also use some white gesso to add some uh, snowy uh, look for the pine cones and flowers. So yeah, that's uh, the first card and it's ready to go. So we can start with uh, the second card and I will show you how to make mixed media card this time. Um, basically, we are starting at the, sa the same. So we just put together two layers of paper. Uh, again, a little bit smaller. Uh, each layer is a little bit smaller and I'm just sticking it with a craft glue. This time I will cover my paper with uh, just so clear uh, to protect my paper and uh, I will be using some uh, watercolors. So when it's dry, the paper is safe uh, for any mediums to use. In your kit, you will find a stencil and in the complementary kit, you will find modeling paste. So we can use them, the, these products to make nice uh, pattern and dimensional look on our card. So I'm just using a part of my stencil to create a nice um, print of a stencil. And uh, this is um, giving us a little bit more dimension and a nice, um, it, it adds up to our composition as well. So then I'm just starting to build my composition again. And um, this is basically, um, this step is the, basically the same. So you just put together the elements, all the elements I'm using here, you will uh, find in the kit. I mean, all the paper elements, the leaves, the flowers. Uh, if you don't find something you like, you just can you can just use other elements like uh, stars or wooden elements you can find in your craft uh, stash. Um, but most of the elements are already in the kit. So just um, using a uh, uh, hot glue gun and, um, and this time I'm adding a little bit more to my card. So by adding some gel medium and glitters, glitters are also included, you can create really nice and blinky background and gel medium will dry transparent. So don't worry about seeing it at the moment because it will be it will not be visible. And then I'm adding a color. I'm using color glow. So this is a watercolor paint with some shimmer. So I'm just using some water and the color to add a little bit of shadow. And also um, it makes this card a little bit more dimensional and rich. And then I'm splashing with acrylic ink and green, uh, which is also included in the main kit. So basically you can stop at any point, but I will. I have decided to add up a little bit of more chipboards and I'm um, just uh, gluing them with my craft glue. Uh, so you can add some chipboards or other elements you like. And at the end, I'm painting, um, adding a little bit of white again with some white gesso uh, on my chipboards, on my flowers, on my pine cones, whatever that you like. And to have this extra snowy look and shimmery look, I'm adding uh, mica flakes, white mica flakes, also from the kit. Uh, and I'm applying it with gel medium. You can add more colors if you want, but I'm quite happy with the result. So I hope you will have fun with the Christmas kit uh, to buy it with a special price. Uh, just order it before Christmas. After this time, and the kit will be probably available for some time, but the price uh, will be a little bit higher. So thank you so much for watching my YouTube tutorial. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'm really um, grateful for all the comments. And hopefully you will have really nice and happy Christmas. All the best to you all. Bye-bye.